What's going on everybody? It's your boy Tanner Wyman of Barbarian Bites. Today I've got for you an at home dumbbell only chest and abdominal workout routine. For reference, you guys can see it. I'm gonna be using a pair of 25 pound dumbbells to go through this routine. We got six total exercises. We're gonna be going through the first round right here together. If you guys wanna push yourselves, I challenge you to repeat this workout two total times. If you wanna push it, I challenge you to try it three. And if anybody can do it, be sure to let me know if you can get four rounds of this workout routine. Let me know down in the comments section how far you were able to get. Let's get straight into this one. All right, we're gonna kick this thing off here with a set of close grip push-ups off of the dumbbells. If you don't have uh, the proper amount of dumbbells here or the type that roll, by all means, just do this on the floor. So what you're gonna do is just position those dumbbells as close as you possibly can together, get up in a push-up position, coming down nice and slowly under control, and then back up focusing and squeezing those pecs. And we got a total of 15 repetitions. Ready? And go. Thinking chest, thinking that you're trying to squeeze that chest as hard as you can. 10 more. Each time you're coming up, squeeze that chest. Five more. Four. Three. Two. Next, we're gonna be getting into wide grip push ups and good. Toss the dumbbells. Now we're just gonna position ourselves into a wider grip position, just outside of the shoulder position there. So, you're gonna be coming down, I want you to get that chest as low as you possibly can to the ground. If you can get it to touch, that's even better. 15 repetitions. Ready? And go. Control those repetitions. 10 more. Six, five, four, three, two, one more, and good. Next, we're gonna be getting into some dumbbell flies. So we're gonna be lying on our back here, positioning the dumbbells right beside you. We got a total of 15 repetitions. Now, what I want you to do before you begin this, retract that scapula. So when you're bringing these down here, it incorporates less shoulders and more of your chest. So I'm just gonna grab my dumbbells right here, placing them up so my scapula is retracted, coming down slowly, elbows touch, back up, focusing on squeezing that chest. Again, we got 15 repetitions. Ready? And go. As you're bringing those dumbbells up, think, squeeze the chest. 12. 10. Always breathing. Coming down nice and slowly. Let those elbows just gently touch the ground and then coming right back up. Five more. Four. Three. Two. Last one. And good. Toss those dumbbells down. Next, we're going to be getting into the abdominal portion of this routine. I'm just going to lie down my very nice barbarian body t shirt. If you want to get one, there's going to be a link in the bio or the description there. Lay this down here so I can perform the repetitions. So, first exercise we're gonna be getting here are some plank jacks. So, you're gonna get yourself into a raised plank position, and all we're doing is out, in, out, in. And we're gonna be getting a total of 15 repetitions. So that's 15 out, and then 15 in there. Ready? Lock and load this. We're going for a, a slow and controlled tempo. You wanna prevent your hips from sinking down. Ready? And go. Two, three, four, five, ten more. Five, four, three, two, one more. And good. Next, we're going to be getting into some reverse crunches with some posterior pelvic tilt. Now, that posterior pelvic tilt, you probably never done here. I want to emphasize the importance of that right now. So, what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna hover the feet off the ground. They never touch the ground. Bring them towards the chest, and you're also gonna lift 
your pelvis off of the ground to complete the repetition. And that's why it's called the posterior pelvic tilt. So we got a total of 15 repetitions here. Ready? Feet up. Let's get it. Lifting the pelvis off the ground. As I said, heels, they never touch the ground. See that posterior pelvic tilt allows us to get that spinal flexion, which actually activates those lower abdominals. 10 more. Seven, halfway. Six. Five. Three. Two. Last one. And good. Okay. Finishing exercise here. We're gonna be getting some toe touches. This one is really great for hitting actually your entire core here. So Feet completely straight up in the air. All we're focusing on doing, touch the outside of those toes, bring those shoulders off of the ground. We got 15 repetitions, try and keep those legs nice and stationary. Ready? And go. Get those shoulder blades off the ground. Five more. Two, one more, and good. So there you guys go. That completes or concludes the first round of this at home chest and abdominal workout routine. As I said, if you guys want to push yourself, try and repeat this routine two times. If you want to push it, try three. And if anybody can nail this four times, be sure to let me know down in the comment section. If you can get any type of rounds, two or three, also be sure to let me. I'm just super curious to see who can get four rounds. If you guys enjoyed the video, then be sure to give your boy a like down below. And also be sure to subscribe for weekly workout tips and nutrition tips that you definitely will not want to miss. Thank you all so much for joining me. See you guys in the next video.